Hi everyone, welcome to the Tiny Studio. I am Nail and this is Nail Simply Simply Nail's Tiny Studio. How are you today? This is a vintage coach lovers or vintage coach obsession video. Um, thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you for joining me for a little vintage coach admiration session. Mm-hmm. I love vintage coach. Do you love vintage coach? The bag that we're about to talk about right now is actually celebrating its induction into the vintage coach hall of fame. Yes, it is. This particular bag came out in the year 2002. That was exactly 20 years ago. And when we're talking about vintage, um, vintage accessories and things of that nature we're talking about anything that's 20 years and up and this particular bag happens to be celebrating its 20th anniversary it is now considered a vintage bag oh and guess who else is celebrating 20 years my locks <laughs> i am celebrating 20 years of being a dreadlock diva if you want to know some more or get in on that celebration, you have to join me over at uh, Dreadlock Love here in the tiny studio. And those are a whole, that's a whole nother set of videos if you want to check it out. But right now, what are we talking about? We're talking about celebrating my favorite bag. Now listen, I have two. Well, I shouldn't say that like that. I shouldn't say it like that. I have one favorite coach bag out of all my coach bags. One particular favorite. And then I have alternate. <laughs> I do. I have an alternate. One day, I'll make a video to show you the alternate uh, bag that is my favorite coach bag and you know for me you will you will know that I really really like something when I buy it in multiples and this bag right here she has a sister who is in the color of black and her sister has shown up on this channel uh, in another video when I talked where I talked about how to clean and uh, condition a coach bag she was featured in that particular video and now here is the baby my favorite coach bag this is the coach crescent bag say hello say hello and say happy birthday to her because this is her 20th birthday she was created in 2002 and actually she was designed and created in the Dominican Republic so this is the crescent bag isn't she a beauty she is in camel she is my favorite bag I just simply adore her I love her here she is with her beautiful turn lock of course you know from other videos if you are you are returning to the tiny studio then you'll know that I love a good turn lock bag her hardware is brass as you can see she still has her original hang tag it's a beautiful camel color she is just an awesome awesome bag celebrating 20 years isn't she gorgeous what are some of the wonderful features about the crescent bag that I absolutely love now you may also know if you are a vintage coach lover you will know that there is another crescent bag and this bag um, I want to say maybe this there was a there's a classic vintage crescent bag that looks more like a saddle bag and this is a different design take on the classic crescent bag but she is still she is still a beauty all right so as you see right here she has the um her her flap with a turn lock 
there. She has a slip pocket on the back and it's just not any old slip pocket. It's a very deep slip pocket which I absolutely love so you could comfortably put your phone in there a tiny wallet maybe some owl toys anything that you want to reach handily or readily you can do so by putting it in this beautiful deep slip pocket she does not have any feet no feet but she is very very well designed that leather child it feels like oh i'm trying to tell you it's just something about coach and their leather bags uh the leather bags they they were making for uh well for a very long time over i want to say over 80 years now it's just something about the coach leather that's just second to none these new bags that they have out right now the new coach collections the leather does not compare to the vintage coach bags not at all Un no no there's no competition between the new coach bags and the vintage coach bags because these vintage coach bags they can take it they can take any type of whatever you put them through life itself they can take it and keep on moving you know so this is the vintage crescent bag let's look inside of her what makes her my favorite bag besides this beautiful turn lock besides the shape and it has to be the shape for me the shape of this bag is just ah uh, awesome it's it's like a, it's a crescent it's just oh, I just love the shape of this bag it's just so unique to me in my opinion and this is what kind of sold me on the bag in the first place is this very unique shape let's open up and see what's inside unlike other vintage bags this vintage coach bag has material it's lined in material or has a fabric lining not the vintage uh, not the vintage not like other vintage coach bags which only have the raw leather on the inside this has a fabric lining now I'm usually against fabric and I'm against fabric nine times out of ten. Okay, let's be honest, ten times out of ten because I'm messy. When I'm in the car, I'm drinking slush, a slushy or a pop, or I'm snacking, doing something in, in the car. So I'm kind of messy. And I don't like to think too much about, you know, I want to think about driving. I want to concentrate on driving. So I'm, I'm not really thinking about. Oh, I don't want to get this, you know, I don't want to get this great slushy on my purse or anything like that. I'm not thinking like that. But I have been handling this uh, fabric lining pretty well. And the reason why is because now I don't place all of my items inside the bag what I do is I put most of my essentials in tiny cosmetic bags and then I put them into my uh, my purses or my or my bags or the bags that I'm going to carry and in that way I'm protecting the lining of this bag now I purchased this crescent on the pre-love market and so the lining was still pretty decent it was 100 percent I didn't have to worry about it I have to do any cleaning or anything to it all I did was vacuum it out and I used a little um odo band and that was it that was it the bag was in fantastic condition on the inside but as I said this is a pre-love mark a pre a pre-love I I found this on the pre-love market so there were some things wrong with her when I purchased her but anyhow I have stuffed her with some old clothing few bags in the name of sustainability and here is her strap yep there she is and so let's look inside of the crescent bag there's the inside so big oh look at that look at that space inside of there look at it so you have the back pocket 
you see that he has the back there's the back pocket and then let's see if you can know there are two pockets on the side of this bag let's see there they are and you could slip a tiny phone in there if you want to um they're big enough for a phone maybe some lip gloss uh lipstick oh it's three of them <laughs> i misled you there are three pockets inside of this crescent bag so you could put whatever you need to carry inside of there uh in hey if you are asthmatic inhalers uh tiny pill box lotion uh what uh covered pen uh whatever things that you carry inside your purse if you don't already carry those little uh if you don't carry a um what they call those those purse organizers if you don't carry that or if you're not like me i carry like a sack uh, cosmetic bags and I put all of my essentials in it and I do that to protect the lining of the bag so that I don't have lip melted lipstick or leaking pens and things of that nature at the bottom of the bag which damages your purse which damages your purse so I bought this off the pre-love market the inside was pretty good um, I didn't have to do anything to it. Like I said, I just, all I did was, um, vacuumed it out, added a little odor band to it and to give it a nice, beautiful smell. And that was it. But when I first received my baby here, when I saw her on the pre-love market, she was very very dry she was damaged to a point uh, for what I could see from the pictures and I was a little afraid of what she would look like in person and when she arrived there were some challenges so it took me about a month to thoroughly bring her back to her former glory and she is just adorable she is beautiful there were no problems no rips or tears or anything with the strap as you see to preserve the strap I have it rolled up in this place inside the bag and I just love her because she's so big <laughs> she's so big she carries everything everything that I need she carries it and she is just so cute to have on your shoulder I have this crescent bag in black as well if you want to see her she's in another video on my channel but this is the crescent bag in camel she is just adorable this is my favorite favorite coach bag she is now a vintage coach bag she is celebrating 20 years she is now a vintage coach back and she deserves it she deserves all the accolades she deserves all the awards she deserves all of everything because i just love her and she just she just feels so good and it was such a wonderful experience to go ahead and refurbish her and rehab her and it didn't take much all it took for me was since i since she had the fabric lining i couldn't give her a bath or anything i didn't even want to do that but i used some lexol cleaner and conditioner and I was able to get the staining out I was able to revitalize her and through conditioning I was able to bring her back to her former color and her former glory and she is just a beautiful an awesome looking bag she is just beautiful inside and out that back slip pocket for me is everything. The brass hardware. Just everything. When you're talking about coach, vintage coach, up into from um from my experience from the 70s 
all the way to the 2002s, you're talking about a really, really good bag. You're talking about a quality bag. And, you know, like I said before, there are no frou-frous on here. <laughs> There's no bells and whistles on this vintage bag. It's just a really well-made coach bag. So thank you so much for hanging out with me in a tiny studio. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking. And if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and like and subscribe to the tiny studio. What are you waiting for? Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for celebrating the, the Coach Crescent bag with me. 20 years. Hey! Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And join me next time here in the tiny studio for another video. Bye-bye.